Hi, and welcome to this case study overview on understanding the AI feature user journey in enterprise. My name is Sarah Hanses. I am a user researcher at Microsoft, and I developed this work with my co-author, Jennifer Wang. From sales to retail to financial services, AI is impacting businesses in fundamental ways. User experiences in the enterprise space may include configuring or setting up an AI model, understanding how an AI model performed, or consuming AI insights to make specific business decisions. According to a McKinsey and Company global survey on the state of AI in 2020, 50% of respondents reported having adopted AI in at least one business function. Use of AI in the workplace is a trend that is expected to continue. These survey results also demonstrated that while businesses are increasingly focused on leveraging the power of AI, only a minority of these companies have recognized the risks associated with doing so. While AI technologies have impacted both consumer and enterprise applications, less research has focused on the unique considerations for AI enterprise experiences. To enable responsible design, it is important to understand these systems as a whole and within a broader human-computer interaction framework that includes the user, the system, the tasks, and context. There is a growing consensus that designing for AI is complex and that a framework for understanding human-AI interactions can enable more effective envisioning and refinement of AI use. This research sought to understand how enterprise users manage and interact with intelligent features within a situated ecosystem and across their entire life cycle. The intended outcome was to create a framework for understanding human AI interactions, inclusive of risks, so that these risks may be mitigated when designing for AI moving forward. In this study, 57 participants took part in interviews that were conducted between August 2020 and January 2021. For this study, business profiles were aggregated into four personas representing our primary users across various verticals, including IT pros or admins, makers, analysts, and end users. In interviews, participants described their end-to-end -end process and overall experience working with AI features and responded to high-level questions with sample topics including perceptions of AI, accountability in using AI, and how AI is used to inform business decisions. After synthesizing findings across all personas, the following phases of the user journey were identified. Onboard, operationalize, launch, use, maintain, and evaluate. While these phases are presented as linear, much of this journey is iterative, while some phases and subphases are experienced in parallel. Using this map, we created a framework for identifying commonalities and differences between enterprise personas. In the onboard phase, enterprise users identify a need or an opportunity to implement AI and decide to use a particular AI feature. In this phase, users draw on their existing perceptions and understanding of AI as they evaluate technical solutions and select one. In the operationalized phase, users plan and gather system requirements, collect and prepare data that will be necessary for the AI feature, create and build AI models and various tools, and then test and tune those models until a desired level of performance is achieved. In the launch phase, the AI feature is deployed and integrated into business workflows as users begin to adopt and acquire the necessary skills and knowledge to use the AI feature. In the use phase, users configure an AI feature by defining variables and data to be used based on business questions. They work to understand an AI's output and validate it before using it to inform a specific business decision. In the maintain phase, the AI feature is monitored to ensure that it continues to work as expected. It may be updated based on newly available data or evolving business requirements, and any technical issues will be inspected and resolved. In the evaluate phase, enterprise users measure the effectiveness of an AI feature to see if it enabled the anticipated efficiencies. They may also reflect on how it impacts their work. For more detail on how each persona's experience varies across the different phases, please refer to the full case study paper.
The primary asset resulting from this research was a high-resolution Figma file that outlines the AI feature user journey in enterprise. This map overviews the process that an enterprise user engages in and the steps they may take in pursuit of a specific goal when using AI in the workplace. It synthesizes user actions, experiences, and feelings in a narrative that is visually represented. In our user journey map, the top is focused on the user actions by personas throughout all phases and subphases. The bottom is focused on synthesized pain points, opportunities, and quotes to contextualize these experiences. Red bars indicate the severity levels of every pain point, and we also included a key to help guide viewers through this map. This research uncovered multiple opportunities related to using AI features in the workplace. The primary pain points and opportunities expressed by users include the following. One, data quality and quantity. Two, security and privacy. Three, lack of adoption and AI comprehension. And four, maintenance and evaluation. Regarding data quality and quantity, there is an opportunity to create consistent data quality standards in the industry and enable easier connection to data sources, in addition to enabling easier formatting and transformation of data needed to train an AI model. Regarding security and privacy, there is an opportunity to enable users to monitor what an AI feature is doing or has done. Regarding lack of adoption and lack of understanding, opportunities include leveraging in-context guidance and documentation to make AI features and their capabilities comprehensible and transparent. It also encompasses addressing real-world concerns and limitations related to the potential impacts of using AI. Regarding maintenance and evaluation, there is an opportunity to better define accountability for AI feature management. We recommend that enterprise users adopt clear sets of ownership and accountability around AI features, including but not limited to who owns the training of the model, validation of its outputs, feedback on those outputs, and ensuring that data sets are representative. To improve evaluation, we recommend enabling more systematic processes to submit and collect feedback within an AI system itself. The results of this research were shared out through a series of presentations to internal product teams that develop AI features. These research findings have been applied by product development teams in their planning processes, as teams have begun using this framework and these learnings when proposing, planning, and prioritizing improvements to AI features and capabilities. In summary, the use of AI features is cyclical in nature, and they require ongoing oversight and collaboration across many business roles. There are multiple opportunities to improve the experience of using AI in the workplace, and it is critical that these opportunities be addressed by both individuals and teams using AI features and by those building them in order to enable appropriate use of AI in business applications. This is the first version of this user journey. Future considerations to expand upon this work include exploring the experiences of enterprise users who do not interact with AI, to understand their perspectives and potential barriers to entry, as well as understanding the experiences of additional enterprise personas. Future research may also inspect the differences across AI features that are out of box versus custom built, as well as segmenting this journey further based on the specific type of AI technology used. It will also be important to utilize quantitative methods in order to better assess pain point severity. In closing, we expect that adoption, awareness, and knowledge of AI features and enterprise will continue to evolve over time, making this a dynamic journey that will need to be continually updated. Thank you.